Okay guys, um, I'm going to show you guys how to put a strip bait on a snook trace, which I've already shown you guys how to make. So I've got a fresh Natal side here. You can also use red eye. Um, I prefer the, obviously the, the sardine type baits because they're a little bit more oily and definitely you get more bites as opposed to say a mackerel fillet. I'm not saying that a mackerel fillet won't work, but um, definitely a sardine or a red eye is the most effective I find for queen mackerel Natal snook. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna cut the, the fillet. So your mom said to you, don't cut towards yourself, so don't, don't listen to what I'm doing here. What I'm doing is I'm cutting the, the entire fillet. I prefer to work with the, with the sardine semi-frozen and not so thawed out. I find the, it becomes easier to work with the fillet if you do it that way. And I cut the, the entire fillet. So from the, from the tail right to the top. And obviously you get a fillet on the one side and then if you turn it over, you can cut the fillet on the other side. Okay, a couple of tricks. Um, you can see the actual spine line. I use that as, as my gauge and my, my alignment to actually cut the fillet. Okay, probably one of the most important tools in, in uh, tying a strip bait is a good pair of scissors. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm cutting the, the belly out. Okay. And I'm using that center line and I'm cutting away the top and the bottom. Creating a natural taper from thick to thin. Obviously the thin end being by the tail. You can see the thickness, it's about the, thick, the thickness of my finger. Turn it over. There's the skin side. You can obviously just trim it to make sure it's nice and neat wherever you, you miss the section. You don't want any bulges. You want it to be nice and straight. Okay, then what I do is I take my, my snook trace. As I said, I, I mentioned I put the, the swivel to space it, so about a centimeter from the end. From the flesh side going to the skin side, I just push the hook through. And I actually lie the wire in that spine line. Turn it over, you can see the hook over there. You hold that like that, you get your ghost cotton and you actually bind the, the fillet on. And by doing so with that power saw, if you see that I actually bind it into the power saw and that stops the strip bait from sliding down. Some guys use a little tag end of American fishing wire to hook onto there. But personally, I'll show you now, but I just bind it nice and tight into that swivel at the top. just break it off and then obviously very loosely I don't even bind the whole fillet it's just at the top end and then what happens is this mini eye or skirt slides over your strip bait and you can see that's that's nice and hydrodynamic you can pull that very quick through the water and it's not going to spin not going to flutter um, we obviously trawl these at about six to eight k's an hour so you want this thing to swim straight. And as I said, the most effective uh, fishermen I've found that, that catch Natal snook on our coastline, whatever they do is they make sure that this, this strip bait swims straight at speed. And if you can get that right, then you'll, you'll be effective at catching Natal snook.